Welcome along and welcome back to the Old Farm Countryside where we are doing our Start From Scratch series. We are currently heading up to field 37, which is not a field we own. Uh, it is a field that we've grabbed a contract on. Because as you can see, uh, we are coming to the end of the game day and we are minus £199. This is not a good position for us to be in. Uh, we have about a £20,000 uh, cost each day for our hired uh, equipment. Um, and uh, and yeah, so currently we're looking at being in, uh, in the red by £20,000 if we don't get some contracts under our belt. So we have lined up three of them for this video. Uh, across the map in fact so we are currently over here at field 37 so we're going to be doing this field here we've got field 44 lined up as well and field 50 so i can show you the three contracts we have here uh so we're going to do those that's going to give a basic rate uh 10 000 ish uh, i'm hoping that we're going to earn um probably another 10 000 from excess crop as well if we can do that, we are going to earn uh, plenty of money uh, to get us through the night. So that is the general plan at the moment. Uh, so that is what we're doing. So away with our class combine. Uh, get that doing some heavy and hard work. We don't want to actually be dropping a straw swath at the moment. There we go. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if these go to the same place. I've only actually had a look at what the destination, what the location of these is uh, that we need to, to do these. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of work to get ourselves back in a position where we can get through to the next game day and actually have a, uh, actually not be in a really bad place. Uh, come next video now we do have uh, one of the upsides to this is we're getting to try out three Really interesting fields. This one is a field that I have not gone anywhere near yet, and I'm I'm actually loving it I love the shape of this field and I love how odd it is and I love how bumpy it is And it's just an interesting field to harvest uh, So that's that's absolutely fantastic um, and uh, and looking forward to harvesting this field. It shouldn't take us too long. None of these fields are partic particularly big ones. So uh, it should all be able to be knocked out fairly quickly. Uh, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to get this headland out. Uh, we'll see how far we can get with it and, uh, and go from there. About a quarter of the way back around the field on the second headland and we're 82% full. Get that little tuft I missed there. And uh, yeah, so fairly decent yield off this field. Uh, it's fairly, um, it's, it's not very wide either. So uh, it's pretty good from that point of view for us. Uh, we should, as I said, we should be able to knock this out fairly quickly. I'm kind of hoping that there's a, a similar crop uh, on one of the other fields. That maybe we're doing, uh, maybe the other fields will be doing barley. We will double check or we will check uh, what those contracts are. Then we're going to get halfway around this field or just over halfway around this field on this second headland uh, before we're full, uh, which would be good. Uh, be absolutely useful for us to do that. We still need to buy. Uh, some sort of pressure washer. <laughs> this combine is so dirty uh, at this point. We don't have the money to do it. It's 5,000 uh, 5, to buy a new pressure washer. Yeah, we absolutely don't have the money to do that at the moment. Uh, but we do need to do it fairly urgently. I kind of want to build a wash station into the farm. But those are, uh, those are even more expensive than just a standalone pressure washer. Uh, but we are looking to expand our farm soon. There we go. We're full. Let's get our Lamborghini. And we're going to go and empty out our combine. Because, uh, yeah, we need to. We need to get this uh, 
We need to get this field done and dusted. Uh, get in, I think we, I think it's about 3,000 off here, 3,500 off here. Uh, and then the other two are worth about uh, four to four and a half thousand each. Uh, so we'll, we'll probably end up with about 12,000 off uh, contract money here. Uh, we will uh, then end up with whatever the surplus is as well, which hopefully will be a decent amount. But we shall see. There we go. Uh, so let's uh, check quickly where this one's got to go. So this is field 37. We are halfway through uh, doing this already. So this should all fit in one trailer, which is fantastic for us. Uh, it's got to go to the grain elevator. Uh, the other two are soybeans and oats, so it is three different ones. Uh, 44 is going to the grain elevator as well. Grain elevator, that's grain station. Doesn't say to grain elevator. Right, so we need to look for grain elevator on the phone. That's grain station. Thread factory. It will be flashing. Our grain elevator is up there. So uh, not too bad for us here. Fairly easy track. Uh, exactly opposite on the map to the other one. 49% uh, in our tractor. This is why this combine fits perfectly with this Marshall trailer. We'll start this up again. And away we go. So we know that all of this field should fit in. Well, pretty much all of this field should fit in our combine, which is great news. Uh, and we know that two loads of our combine will fill our trailer, which is also good news. So, uh, yeah, let's lock the rest of this headland out. Let's see uh, how much we have left, how close we get to completing this field. Uh, filling it with another grain tank. I am very much hoping that the rest of this field will fit in, uh, will fit in the tank. Uh, but we shall see how we go. Interestingly, we've cut in now. Uh, we've got the bottom half of the field done. We are 75% full with quite a bit of this field to go. So it looks like we might have more than one trailer full. Interestingly though, this now reads as having... 74% uh, of the field done uh, which is uh, yeah which is amazing because that probably means that when we go and tip this first trailer load that's very likely to get us most of the way if not the whole way to completing this contract um, that surprises me completely uh, we're gonna have to uh, yeah we're gonna have to tip it and then come back uh, grab whatever remains on this field and then uh, and then send it uh, and, and then go and sell that uh, while we get the Lexian here started on the next field um, so yeah it's it's really quite something there's quite a bit of uh, crop in here which is not what I expected with all these weeds 95% full now, and I'm going to set a hired worker going here so that we can jump in this and go and catch up to our combine and hopefully keep it moving if we're quick enough. It's on 98%. I'm going to swing it around the end here. 99%. No, that's going to fill before we get near it at all. Yeah, there we go. Don't think it'll start moving. Oh no, he is. No, he isn't. <laughs> he is moving because uh, I've got the hired worker on and uh, and GPS. So we're going to take the GPS off. And high worker. There we go. Yeah, we're blocking the combine. And there we are. So we can empty now. Uh, we're at 100%. So we're going to leave him doing the remainder of this field. And we're going to go and tip this. 
And hopefully this will get us the vast majority of the way to having completed this contract. Try to work out. I think our best bet is probably to head out this way. We're heading up to the grain, uh, the grain elevator at the middle of the map. Uh, so I shall see you up there and, uh, and we'll see how close we get to the end of this contract. Approaching the grain elevator now. It's just opposite field 16 here and looking around here. I think this is the entrance. Yep, there we go. Now, where is the actual elevator tipping point? There it is. Let's see how close this gets us. Now, before we start, let's have a look at our thing. So it's 83% that says. Uh, our combine has finished. So uh, let's tip this and see how close this gets us. There we go. The contract is finished. And we've made another 2,185 on top. Straight away. We are, we are back in the black, which is good news. Anything else we get off this field is also profit, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, we can actually look at where the best price for wheat is on the map and sell it there. Uh, so we will we will look at that and then we will complete the contract. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really good news to be uh, to be back. We had, we weren't massively in the red, but uh, we have got a way to go yet. So we get this back up to field, empty this out, and then we'll get our combine down to field 44. Almost back to the field now, and I think we can get in at the top end of it here. The combine hasn't actually finished. For some reason, it thinks it has. Uh, so uh, we're going to jump in it. Start it up. Down with the header, and, uh, and yeah, just collect this last little bit up. Uh, we got another two, uh, probably going to have another about 3,000 litres off this. That is really good. Uh, that um, that actually makes me quite happy. Uh, means we should make about another 1,000 uh, to 1,500 pound off it. Uh, and I'm kind of hoping our best sale price is going to be down at the bottom of the map. If I can take these two down there in convoy, that would be really good news. So, uh, yeah, let's get this last little bit cut. And then while this is emptying, we'll have a look and see if Farley has a good grain price at the bottom of that. So, there we go. And out with our bit. There we go. That's going into our trailer now. And what is... The price for grain like at the grain station 545 the best place is actually the west port uh, which is uh, just north of us here so we can get 744 at the west port uh, that has emptied so uh, let's complete this contract that is absolutely fantastic so we're up to 4,651 after the first contract. So I'm going to get our combine down to the next field. And then I'm going to go and tip what we've got in the Lambo and, uh, and get that down there as well. One of the things I love about this map is uh, the road system on it. It is absolutely amazing there's some wonderful dirt tracks all around and then you've got this this main road system that just connects things really nicely so for example back there there was a there was a section where i i got quite lost um on the on the sort of the back roads part um but it all made sense and it all allowed you to to wind your way around and everything so it was really cool from that point of view uh, all right, let's drop our trailer off. And then hook up our header. Like so. And then we're going to head in and get this whole thing, uh, get this field started. So this is a bit bigger, this field. This is field 44. 
Uh, the contract is worth about four and a half grand. There we go. As I said, uh, and this is oats, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but uh, I want to get headland out so that we can uh, then we can actually set a hired worker doing this and go and sort out our Lamborghini. But it is uh, it is one of those things where we uh, where taking a headland out first will be a safe bet. So once again, we're going to take a couple of headlands out, see where we are, and hopefully by uh, by then uh, we'll be in a position to have our karting tractor down here uh, to get this empty down. Coming to the end of the first headland here, and we're just over forty percent full, uh, so we shouldn't be full until we have uh, uh, basically until we have the headlands done which is great so what I'm planning now is we need to turn around and head the other way uh, to get the uh, to do the headlands properly uh, but it is going to be good we are going to be in a position where uh, we don't have to worry too much uh, about getting our tractor trailer here that quickly uh, quite nice to see that the headlands though themselves are going to produce uh, a, uh, a full tank onto the combine which is great news uh, so yeah we need to uh, to get this sorted and uh, I think on the back straight on the return I'm gonna put the hired worker on it so that we can go and tip what we've got in the land uh, in the trailer in the with the marshal and uh, and get back here okay we're on to the back straight so we're gonna set this going hit that hired worker button and head over to this tractor here. Now it only has 12% in it, but we do need to go and tip it. Uh, it is an, it should be a good amount. It's two, 2,800. So we're gonna go and make uh, about 700 pound. Uh, go off this uh, up at the west. Western Port is where we want to make. Oh, Westport is exactly the other side of the map. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head over that way and get this tipped and then get this tractor trailer down to the field. So it's going to be a fairly long way around. Here we are up at the West Port where we're going to tip our uh, extra barley. Interestingly, we've, uh, we've just lost a load of money. So we're now 2,500 in the red and that is because the money has come out for our combine for the lease of our combine uh, it must have just ticked over an hour uh, so that's uh, that's slightly annoying uh, but the excess has brought us a little bit back and of course overnight uh, I don't think we're gonna we're not gonna hit a massive amount of cost overnight uh, only only the daily rates for our stuff so uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Twenty thousand pound is not going to be everything. Uh, it's not going to be the daily rate for everything we've hired. Uh, combine has a full tank, so we're going to get the tractor back up there now and get that emptied. And here we are at field forty-four, and there's our combine. Fortunately, the auger is on the correct side, so that's good for us pull up beside it and get this open, uh, get this unloaded. Now this means that we are how far empty? Uh, wow, we've already got 48% on this field as well. That's really good. I'm quite, quite pleased with that. That'll be, uh, yeah, 48% already means that, yeah, two, uh, two loads off this. Again, we will be full. So combine is off. Uh, I think we should take over from it for a bit. So uh, hired worker off. We'll reverse up. Start it up again. Set GPS and a wait. Woo! I'm gonna need to maneuver our GPS. 
So we'll turn the lines on. Yeah, look at that. That is massively out of kilter with where we are actually on the field. We want it to be there. And that's got it. There we go. So set that going. Switch into here. Turn the lines off. And away we go. Absolutely perfect. Again, we've got a lot of weeds in this field, so uh, it's it's going to affect the yield of it, uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're going to open this up now. We're going to uh, do a cut in and uh, get this field properly opened up uh, now that we're controlling it and not the, uh, the other bit. Whoa. out make sure we're properly lined up and away we go there we go cut in at about the right place uh, so we're about yeah we we roughly got a center dividing line down here and uh, and yeah we'll keep going and we'll see where we end up field is nicely opened up and we're up to 60% uh, so yeah not, not a huge amount of field to go uh, I think though judging by the amount of time we have spent on this uh, we are we're, we're gonna wrap this field up and uh, and then uh, call it at that point now it's uh, it's not gonna leave us enough money overnight but we do have one more outstanding mission we will probably get our class Lexian doing that next time, I think. Uh, and, uh, and just see if we can eke out that little bit extra uh, before it rolls over. 20,000 is a lot to be in the red. So it would, take, uh, oh, it would take probably a couple of big sugar beet or potato contracts. which Neither of which is uh, particularly what we want to be doing. But we may yet have to do it. We do need to reconfigure our fields next time as well. So part of this is uh, is needing to hire a uh, needing to hire a plow because I don't think we have a plow. I think we've got a, a subsoiler at the moment. And there is a mod out there where you can uh, create fields with the subsoiler, but I prefer not to do that kind of thing. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll probably end up renting a small plow to go on the back of one of our tractors maybe the Lamborghini and maybe uh, our Fent which is a, is actually a higher horsepower tractor than it looks uh, but either way we need to uh, we need to hire something so we can extend our fields and then hopefully plus plant some uh, some high value crops in there similarly we need to get some forestry equipment and cut trees and uh, and increase fields sizes that way as well so yeah lots lots to be doing really uh we are 75 percent full i don't think we get full off this row i think we might get full off the return row uh so what we'll do is we will get a hired worker going on the return row for this and take it let's have a look quickly at uh the price of oats so oats the best place to sell is the northeast port uh is where we're going to be taking them eventually um these need to go to the grain elevator the ones we're doing at the moment uh they're likely to make us a little bit of uh money uh but not a huge amount for the overflow Right, so we're going to get a hired worker running in here. Like so. Start our track track. Of course, we don't want to leave this tractor running. It costs us money uh, if we just have it sitting in the field running. Uh, because it is hired. Uh, it's leased like our combine is leased. But we just need to, uh, we need the equipment in order to uh, get stuff done. 
And there we go. Right. So this should empty out quite nicely. Should fill up our trailer. 97% full. Our combine is actually... At this point, our combine looks empty. So, yeah, our combine is empty. Which is astounding, I'm finding. Because, uh, obviously, we've got... Uh, we're getting less yield off this field than we got off the other one. Uh, we might... No, we can't quite fit this in one, uh, in one trailer. But it is uh, fairly astounding. Uh, let's go tip this. There's a little bit left here. And we want to sort of get that in the right place. So we'll go and tip this. And see if this contract is finished. Uh, if so, uh, that will probably be where we end it. We can see the grain elevator ahead of us now. Uh, our combine is turning, I think, at the moment. But uh, we're up here. This should be enough to finish this lease off, I think. Oh, sorry, finish this contract off. So we'll just pull it in here and get it tipped. Uh, before we do this, we will double check that field 44 was going to here. Field 44 to the grain elevator. Yeah, absolutely. So let's tip that. In it goes, and is this going to complete our contract? Yeah, there we go, contract is complete, and wow, the oats are worth quite a bit as well. Uh, we have a, a few more to get off there, so uh, yeah, the oats are almost going to do it on their own. Uh, which, on that note, I think is the perfect place to finish it. We will grab our next, uh, we'll grab the other contract next time. Oats, though, seems to be the way to go. All that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.